Hi everyone, I'm Solar Moon, and for some reason this is a whole new tutorial series. I've started on how to use uh, GIMP to make pixel art. Yes, so this is what we're going to be making today, a torch. Why? Because it looks interesting. So, without further ado, let's just kick things off. Now, um, pixel art is interesting, let me move that out, out of the way. Pixel art is interesting because basically, even though it's simple, there's a lot of depth to it. It takes, it's still art, and it's still uh, something that, you know, you, you really have to try to do. It's not like you can just slap something together. Um, why I like it is because it's a lot easier to tell if something doesn't work or if something doesn't look right. It's, it's really easy to tell with pixel art. You can just, you know, especially if you're working on like a 16 by 16 grid, for example, you can just tell, oh, that pixel is way out of line. It's, you know, out of proportion. It needs to be deleted. And as soon as you delete it, it's like, oh, it immediately, immediately looks better. So, let's start off with a nice brown for the torch handle. Um, I just, you know, it's pretty simple to, to get a brown. You just um, pull up the color from the toolbox. And then you, you know, go for a nice saturation, find orange, and then push down to brown, which is like 40 for this example. Now, a torch is pretty conical in shape, so you just kind of, uh, I don't really want to eyeball this one, so let's, let's move this out of the way. You select, um, you can select things with the top left toolbox tool, which is rectangle select. Grab it, press control shift and L to lift it, and then you can move it wherever else you want. I just moved it over here. Now, let me also not let this stand here. You can just use the fill tool to fill it in. Alright, so I don't really want to do it from, uh, you know, copying. I want to do it from scratch. I'm sure it's not going to look as good. Okay, so this is our torch um, base. So we want it to basically go up from there, and then the fire would be up here. So let's uh, create a line. You can select a, a pixel, and then press shift, and select an endpoint to create a line. We'll probably go up to like here, and there, and cross it. Something like that. Now, that was really haphazard of me. <laughs> Something like this. Let me delete like that half so I can get a nice... Okay, yeah. Something like that. We want it to be basically even on all sides. I mean, you know, if it's two pixels here, it pretty much should be two pixels here, so it's, it looks even. It's going to be conical, but it should still be even. So this is pretty much correct. If something looks off, like this kind of does, you probably want to make sure that it's, it looks a little off. Proportion is a big thing in pixel art. Like you don't want to really make anything that's off proportion. And so it can be a little difficult, but if it looks off, try adding some pixels, taking some pixels away, and seeing how it looks. Um, if it looks kind of weird, then you know don't worry too bad, because you can always come at it with shading and things to really understand how it, it looks. The reason that it can be difficult also is because you're drawing in 2D, but you want it to depict a three-dimensional shape. We want this to be to look like a 3D cone that's on fire. That's a little difficult because, well, it's 2D. So what we're going to do is start with the fire, because we know where that's going to be at the end. So we're just going to make a pretty much a sphere. Now, you it's plasma, and it has a flow. So you want to make sure that it flows in a direction that's logical, like that. This one is already looking different from the other one, which I'm kind of pleased about and kind of ticked about because it doesn't look as good, but it looks different. You know, you want to make sure that it has a flow and, um, okay, yeah, like that. You see how it goes up and sways? Yeah, that's, that's the flow that I'm talking about. You don't want it to look absurd, but you want it to definitely have a, a distinctive direction that it's moving in. It really should go like that. That's better. You see how it goes like that. It's kind of an S. Um, I'm trying to see if there's... Sometimes you just gotta like try different things. Okay, that's fine. Alright, now let's make the middle of the torch, which we're gonna go with orange. Orange is gonna be the actual color of the torch, and red is going to be the base color, so to speak. So we just kind of go like this, and it already looks a little bit better. Let's add some embers. Because, you know, fires cast a little, off little embers. Um, closer ones should probably be orange and the further ones red. 
All right. I'm trying to see if I can. That's better. Okay. All right. Next, let's go with white in the center, like the exact center, not exact center, but in the cent in the relative center of the torch. That's good because it's hot. And then let's go with yellow, which would be right around there. I'm going to surround it like this to give it some depth because, you know, you don't want to have it just be completely um, red or orange. You want to have it be a logical color here. It's actually that's something else about colors is that about pixel art is that there's not really any right way to do things. Like this is a different fire from this, but not necessarily worse. It's not just using red and orange, it's pretty ev evocative of that fire feel. So we're just gonna go with red and orange for this one. Let's just go with red and orange and see how that goes. Let's kick up the tail end of this fire so that we have a little more um of a logical bend on it. Kind of like that. Yeah. Let's go with that. And that. Hmm. It's not as easy to get a flow. Sometimes you get uh, a nice, you know, direction for a fire, but other times it's really difficult to, like, tweak it to be the way that it really should be. I don't want to spend too much time on that. Let's go back to the torch. Now the torch handle is looking better. Um, that already looks a lot better. You notice how just deleting those two pixels makes a huge difference. And for those wondering how I clone things, it's just you left um, hold the the control key, press the key on um, the color you want to clone, and then you can just click and you know create it. So let's actually see what that looks like. Uh, looks like a stick on fire. Let's go with that because it's supposed to be a torch. Alright, now, let's add some shading on the torch because it needs to be a little more shading. I mean, it's, it's on fire so it can't be as monochromatic as that. So let's just shade everything but that because the top of the torch would logically be on fire. Now, because of ambient lighting, the other sides of the torches, torch would also be on fire. Let's just light this side. Um, to give it a nice appearance. Let's color in a little bit there uh, to add some shadow because it's pretty, it's not as linear as that. And you want to give it some depth. Let's also use black to really give the effect that it's darker on those sides. And let's use a lighter, we, we don't have to use another color. It's always better to use less um, if possible, mainly because colors tend to, it, you can really make some muddy art if you just go crazy with colors. The less colors, usually you get better, you know, even in real life, when you look at buildings, is usually you don't see a rainbow building. Usually you might see, um, you know, sandstone blocks and then, you know, um, some clay, red clay walls, like very similar cl colors and not that many of them. But anyway, it's, it's up to you. So, we have a, a nice looking torch here. Let's add a little color on this, um, make it red. Just give the effect that there's fire around this um, torch. Uh handle. And then, let's see, you probably wouldn't see it. That's another thing, seeing it in 3D. I would like to color these red as well, but they're on the underside of the torch and you wouldn't really see it. But let's just color like that. Just a little bit. And, no, that's too much. Let's leave it like that. I think the problem is I have a very red um, color. Let me kick it back from there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's my problem. I need to... There. No, it needs to be brighter. Or something to struggle with when you're making pixel art. Try to get just the right color. Alright, not bad. It's a very Game Boy Color feel. Although there's a lot more colors than Game Boy Color had on a given, uh, at a given time. Alright, so... That is the fill button. That is a flame. A torch. Just like that is... Oops, let me try again. Let's zoom in. That's something else I wanted to point out before I finish is that uh, if you're doing pixel art, you usually want to zoom out so you can see your your art if you are having trouble with it, or even not. You know, zooming out just gives you a little more perspective on what it's supposed to look like, what it looks like. You know, different things like that. 
All right, so that is a quick torch done in GIMP. Yay. So, you know, not too shabby. Neither of them are horrible. They could be better, but, you know, this was only a few minutes. So, thanks for watching. I've been Solar Loon, and hopefully I get to this uh, again sometime. If you have any tutorial requests, um, I'll be happy to try to fill them. Um, if you feel like donating to help me make tutorials, I'd be glad to, to have help. Thanks. Um, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Have fun with GIMP. Make some good art, yeah.